1979, the UK was going through big changes. Margaret Thatcher became the first female Prime Minister. The average house cost was only £13,650. Sony launched the Walkman. And McDonald's introduced the Happy Meal. Meanwhile, overseas, China ordered citizens to have no more than one child. Mother Teresa won the Nobel Peace Prize. And smallpox was finally eliminated. Yay! On the music scene, Pink Floyd released The Wall. The Clash, London Calling, and Michael Jackson released his first solo album, The Car of Choice, The Ford Cortina. In our homes, we were watching UK classics like The Last of the Summer Wine and Are You Being Served, while at the same time, we saw the glamour from American TV shows like Charlie's Angels and Dallas. Who did shoot JR? However, storm clouds were gathering over Mrs. Rogers' garden as we saw Palitoy deliver the final incarnation of Action Man, now with a new dynamic physique and a whole new range of uniforms to follow. As storm clouds gather over Mrs. Rogers' garden, the Action Man gang assemble for the big parade. It's an impressive display of military muscle. And speaking of muscle, just look at Action Man's new fully poseable physique. It's chest out and eyes right as the top brass take the salute. They know that whatever the task, Action Man with his dynamic new physique is ready for action. With the introduction of the new body type, Palitoy had to develop new uniforms. Cheaper alternatives in materials were found, and although this era of products saw thinner materials used, it also gave them scope to tailor make more accurate uniforms. Developments also led way to the inclusion of fabric stickers. The Africa Corps uniform first appeared in 1979 on the International's card, only comprising of the trousers, tunic, brown boots and cap. The popularity of the German uniforms amongst Palitoy's range saw the uniform develop further in 1980, when a more comprehensive Africa Corps uniform appeared on the locker box card, completing the uniform with a new injection moulded KAR-98 webbing, water bottle, bayonet and scabbard, helmet and storm goggles, two potato masher grenades and the inclusion of the correct KAR-98 rifle to accompany the ammo pouches. This vintage outfit is so popular amongst collectors, it ranks as one of the most rarest outfits amongst the whole Eagle Eye range. Beautifully tailored and is a sight to behold once complete. Palitoy, in their wisdom, created two vehicles to accompany the Africa Corps. The usually popular motorbike and sidecar was rehashed in desert colours and German markings and is the perfect accessory for those sandpit battles. Then in their budget range, a blow moulded staff car appeared under the Task Force banner. Rival company Shirley soon jumped on the bandwagon with their version of the motorbike and sidecar and German half-track. The most desirable, however, from all the unofficial products must be the Shirley Desert Panzer. A huge vehicle measuring over 24 inches in length with enough firepower to tackle any opposing foes. Before the cancellation of the entire Action Man line in 1984, Palitoy had plans to expand the range even further with an Africa Corps staff officer. Only this prototype picture remains, and many collectors, including myself, have recreated what Palitoy nearly produced.
We hope you've enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to see future videos and why not join our Facebook group where you can talk to other collectors and buy and trade vintage items. See you on the next one.